Tonight we have new video of a dangerous scene in Fairfax County. Police just releasing this dash cam video of an officer trying to stop people driving recklessly in circles. And not only did they swarm this officer, but investigators say another one was hit by a car. They are calling this a street takeover. Hmm. Our Matthew Torres is live at that scene on Electronic Drive in Springfield. Yeah, and Matthew, we know police announced four people were arrested today, but the chief says it's becoming a bigger problem, right? Yeah, Chief Kevin Davis says these so-called street takeovers or bangers have been happening every weekend, but he has not seen behavior like what we saw over the weekend behind this warehouse in Springfield. And to this day, you can still see the tire marks from cars doing donuts here tonight. He says an officer could have been killed. Tonight, new dash cam video of an officer driving up to a scene of a so-called street takeover in Springfield around 3 a.m. Sunday. But instead of backing away, the group advances. Some began climbing on top of the cruiser. In this cell phone video shared by police, you could see them vandalizing it while the officer is stuck inside. I've got a huge crowd. They're hitting my car. It took more police rushing to the scene before they began to disperse. Those are our perpetrators wearing masks as cowards trying to open her car doors, and I believe that they fully intended to drag her out of that car. Police say the same gathering was responsible for a similar event in Prince William County. Countless videos capturing cars recklessly driving in circles. An unknown person could be seen holding an assault-style rifle. As they dispersed, one driver hit an officer who suffered minor injuries. They poured one out, but I just got hit by a car. Are you injured? I'm going to have a busted wrist right now, but we're turning around and chasing it down. I was walking up to the officers who needed help. The driver turned into me, hit me with his side view mirror and window. Tonight, police have identified four suspects. 18-year-old Carlos Martinez of Woodbridge, 18-year-old Renal Aria Hernandez of Baltimore County, and a 17-year-old from Arlington. 20-year-old Dylan Heckard is from Pennsylvania. They're all facing a litany of charges from hit and run, assault on law enforcement, reckless driving, and disorderly conduct. This is not normal behavior. It can't be tolerated. Uh, this isn't boys being boys. These are young men acting in a criminal nature. Street takeovers have been a weekly problem, not just in Fairfax County, but across the DMV. While investigators describe this as a cat and mouse game, the chief says this type of dangerous behavior will stop. This is not going to happen again in Fairfax County. And Chief Davis says that they will continue to work with online analysis and have a strategy to seek out information, sometimes through the dark web, to know when something like this is happening. And on top of that, he has now started what's called a uh, uh, disruption unit uh, in order to prepare officers to look at these areas, these hot spots, and to also make sure that it's not just one officer responding to the scene. Because clearly, what we saw over the weekend, one officer showing up with uh, flashing lights, not enough to stop potentially dangerous behavior, guys.